Hello and welcome to part four of my Hero Wars playthrough. Uh, we now can open up the mysterious chest. Looks like we get Almir and a bunch of other stuff. When I first started, Mysterious Box would just give you Dark Star, and that was it. No extra stuff, just a hero. This is pretty good. We got some gold, skin stones, runes. Great! So in this episode, we're probably going to do chapters 3 and maybe 4. We'll see how that goes. We probably have enough energy. So, and we also need to change my settings. My gosh, this music and stuff's way too loud. So let's drop that. Boom. There we go. All right, now, now it's like not going to try to overpower my microphone, so. so that's pretty good. We can also do this. I don't know if I showed it on camera or not, but uh, we can do this now. It's like sad. This is something you can do when you're a guild. I said, I think my Facebook friends work too, because uh, I got some to get some. Like I said, I cleared up, I cleared my mailbox like off camera, which I probably shouldn't have, but it was building up. And I did start another uh, one of those after claiming that that would finish. So I started another one because it's been like, this was last night when I did the last episode. Can't show you everything on camera because this game just just wouldn't be practical, but I'll try to show as much as I can. And we got another key we can use, so let's use that. Nice. Uh, Defender's Covenant. Cool. We have 3,000 arrows. Left. We don't want to go like that. I want to spend it for them. That, because I honestly, you don't get really that great of stuff with those, so we're not going to spend a bunch of emeralds on that. Um, shoot. Hit the wrong button. Kid doesn't have an X there. Um, don't have enough honey for more. Alright. So we've pretty much done all of our daily quests that we can do, so we're just going to do the campaign. Outpost. The Orcish Outpost emanates a horrific stench. These guys know nothing of cleanliness. Faceless Kira, Phobos, they're making fun of you. Plus the Goblin Sleener and the Shaman. You can get Phobos Souls, Fire Swords, and Ash Bows. We need more of those. 12 energy. Oh, you know what? I think I can have them. That's fine. We have we're plenty high enough. We'll save the energy potions for later. We'll gain some experience from the fights anyway. Yeah, I actually haven't listened to music in this game for a long time because I have it silenced on my main account. But since we're doing a let's play, we gotta have the music, right? It's part of the game experience. It is so weird watching Celeste attack in light mode. It, it really is. It's it's so like it feels so weird. Ash and bow. Okay, we gotta adjust these settings a bit more. Rarity fair. No, we are not. Rarity fair is not that great a deal. I mean, I, wow. Maybe. It's so tempting. But we're going to farm this stuff. This stuff's easy to farm. Oh, we got a mission. That's what that mail bean was. Um, let's adjust this just a bit more. That sound effect's a bit too high. There you go. Well, let's do a 10 and 10. That should be enough. Okay. The dry bones of those who have who lost have been turned to dust under orcish feet. Many as the squad came through here. Cool. Six energy to do this one. Yeah, the music in this game actually isn't bad at all. <laughs> yeah, I'll never get used to Celeste attacking in light mode. 
Booyah. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot a level skill since we've been here. Oh yeah, we can summon Elmir. But uh, you know how I feel about that. We'll, we'll probably just not summon him. Uh, we need to do this one because this uh, the Purifying Sphere is a really good ability. Gonna go through all my gold. Rackney's gonna have to stay at five stars for now. Once we get to level 40, we should be able to, we'll probably buy the season pass. And that'll probably give me the gold I need to sum to evolve Arachne. Because I don't want to waste a bunch of stuff. I'll probably do the 20 emeralds a day for the gold wheel and no more. It's really just not a great use of your uh, emeralds. I don't know if you guys are having fun, but I'm having fun. This is fun so far. Nice. Ooh, nice. Trader Shield recipe. Oh, we have 111 of those. Nice. We're not too hurting for levels right now, so... Dusky Cliff. Unending groups of chaos move around. The outpost soldiers wouldn't miss a chance to rob a careless traveler. You can get cursed daggers. <laughs> Gotta like how tanks have a PBA attack on their basic... First dagger is pretty good. Rotten Ravine. Rotten Ravine. The foulest and most cowardly monsters dwell here. Their prey is weak and wounded warriors. Ah, oh, that cursed doll. The voodoo doll recipe we need. Trails Traveler's Staff. Six energy. Oh, I never checked the name of that, did I? We got the true shamans, though, and the goblins. Probably gotta turn the sound effects down just a bit more. Even the same volume, like, I can hear the sound effects a lot more than the music. And I have it down quite a bit just so it doesn't, my mic doesn't pick it up, but. Probably the sign effects are, if I think we're loud enough, it probably is picking it up, so... Gotta clean that up a bit. Do that. Boom. Okay. Rotten Ravine. Oh yeah, we could probably do... Oh, we could do hers. Ha. Vileless Silence. Right here. This is the ability that wrecked me in Arena earlier. Lost, I lost several fights to that ability. Vileless Silence is so broken. Like, I'm not sure why so many people say Thea's not good, but she she's really just amazing. Like, so we might actually summon Elmir to try to do him on those Avalon bosses. Because I think he can join the one fight. Living Mountains, do you feel somebody watching? Look carefully into the darkness of the caves. The glittering of hundreds of eyes will be your answer. Ominous. You can get Curasols here.
Arachne hitting pretty hard because of how high of level she is. Or like how evolved she is, like she's five stars. All right, Quiver, Lostrine, got a Curacil. Nice. Dilapidated bridge. Oh no, the enemies want to destroy the bridge over the River of Oblivion. This can't be allowed. Get a Midnight Crystal, an Ashen Bow, cost six energy. But we didn't look at the enemies. These guys are called Champion Trolls. And that guy's a Orc the Warrior. Rackney's level 32. There's those troll champions. <laughs> like Aurora, like that AE damage there. Looks like that's why we're all in on Aurora. She really is just like one of the best DPSs in the game. I mean, boom, and then you have Arachne, but that's <laughs> it's stupid good. Nice, got a Midnight Crystal. Scorched lands. Look, a squad of orcs is carrying heavy bags full of stolen goods. They should be returned to their owners. So we'll catch a recipe and apprentice mantle. That's the one we need for Aurora. So definitely. And if we don't get it first thing, we will definitely do some raiding. So we have some more. We have a couple more energy potions. So we should have enough to get through the next couple chapters. And it'll probably give us some more energy because we'll probably level up some more. Like, once you get the team level up, it gives you energy as there as well. So, I'm not too worried about energy right now. We could buy an energy potion for 300 emeralds from the shop, so. It's Heidi. There it is, that's the little catcher recipe. Booyah. Blue rank. Cast spark of light, which deals damage to all rise of light. 511 damage. Alright. Booyah. Oh, don't have any more of those midnight crystals. There you go, though. That's where she's at 5,340 power. But we got more crystals. Hero of Promote Rewards. Ooh, activity. All right, so let's go to the next stage. Road of Mourning, the forest around the funeral paths, the sanctuary is filled with marauders. Oh, I should have checked what those were. I should read all those monsters for you guys.
plus 10 dodge is not a lot. Those buffs are pretty weak right now. Got a Brother's Fragment. Nice. Six guild activity. Not get any more souls now since the Arachne event's over. It's too bad. Sanctuary of the Ancestors. If there's anything sacred for orcs, it's the Sanctuary of the Ancestors. And killing an outside is a great way to make the forefathers happy. Fox Soul Stones. Queerass. Oil Lamp. Acquire 12 energy. Those are called Mountain Trolls. Chain Patrols. And then, of course, Fox and Aurora. And so we already have enough Arachne souls to take our absolute star, so it's not that big of a deal. But more souls would have been more soul coins, so... But I had to go to sleep at some point, so I couldn't just keep doing it all. Because I was getting tired. Like I said, everyone's blue rank except Phobos, who I honestly don't care too much about Phobos. Like, he's here long for the ride because he's he's a mage. So it's just kind of, you have him here to kind of, he has some synergy with this team. Not a lot, but look at this. We got these magic attack buffs, which sort of help him. They're not a lot of magic attack buffs, mind you, but still. Quiras, Foxel, Fur Valley. The pine woods groan under the pressure of dark magic. We must remove this corruption at all costs. Get a Skull Crusher Fragment. Lucky Dice. Cost 6 energy. hilarious how much damage she does with when the, against a full group. It's part of why Aurora is so good. Ability to AE damage. She has multiple AE abilities that are just really good. They have really good scaling. Ah, Skull Crusher Fragment. Nice. Camp Approach. These roads have been unusable ever since evil settled in the clearing. Get a Dawn Guard Fragment and Imperial Shields. Same guys we've been fighting. Cost six energy for this one. to do speed up the next one there you go kind of sounds like the music broke this time like it's kind of silent isn't it boom nice dawn guard fragments hey celeste gained a level nice Got 873 gold. Orcish patrol. Removing orc patrols from the path will open up the roads for trade caravans, but for how long? Aurora Kira, Daredevil, Kai, and Mojo. Sword of Storms and Orcish Shadigan. Cost 6 energy. Yeah, the music's on. Yep, so I don't know why the music broke, but... Sometimes if you want the music that you just have to turn it off and on, that'll bring it back. Music died. Why it does that, I'll never know.
<laughs> Giddy get those blue abilities. Nope, you ain't gonna hold Kira. Orc Shadigan and a Sword of Swarms fragment. Frontier camp. Elite squads rest here before starting new, violent, and devastating marches. Orcs and goblins and trolls. Wyverns are. Six energy. Got a Wyvern's Heart Fragment. So I'm pretty sure the first time you beat an uh, mission, I think you get a 100% drop rate on everything. It seems like that. It's been so long, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Rackney Aurora, though. That's all the DPS I need, right? Alright, Leader's Tent. Grol Bolgar is a vicious leader who pities neither his allies nor his enemies. Do you still wish to proceed? Ogre Boss. We can beat the ogre boss. 18 energy, wow. Okay. Alright, so we'll just go here. Auto. Definitely are getting a little bit tougher. Boss music. We're gonna kick his ass though. It's cold music too. Yeah, I'm not sure if the boss music was a theme when I first played this game. You know that? I think that might have came later because I don't really remember it. Alright, everyone's level 32 now. Sensor, Lucky Arrow, Dagger, XP Potion, Mojo Soul. Awesome. Dreadlands. Shepherd's Lands. If you notice a cute sheep on a pasture, remember there's a wolf under this clothing. Get Heidi's little wyvern fragment and branch of Anatyrus. Heidi, messenger of death, lich, skeleton arbalaster, and a black knight. So we gotta fight a bunch of undead now. And a roar's full energy again. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's so fun. Nice. A Wyvern's Heart Fragments. Dry wind, clearings with lush grass replaced by lifeless deserts, stretching for miles in every direction. Ooh, homuncle and bone ballistas. Get needle fragments. Cost six energy. Then stuff we already have seen. Bobo since they have such a weak attack. Celeste hits pretty strong, like, I'm honestly surprised. Because we're not used to seeing her do physical, but her physical attack is fairly high. I mean, she's hitting a lot harder than Phobos and Thea are. I'll have to look at her stats after this, man. Got the needle fragment. Return to city. We'll look at her stats. Physical attack, 878. Look at that. She has almost as much physical attack as Aurora, but these guys have really low physical attack. Interesting. Oh wow, we can equip some of this stuff. That's right. Let's do that. More emeralds, ooh, more emeralds, more emeralds. Hey, <gasps> ooh, we got Devil of Deadly Harvest. Deadly Harvest, many glorious warriors have laid down their lives in the cursed place. Imbued with dark magic, these lands have become a shelter for all manner of undead. It's been a while since someone dared to pass through them. Wow, there's actually a quest for uh, this Deadly Harvest box. We'll look at this. We got a, <gasps> ooh, get team levels. We get some of the Outland coins. These are cool. Promote one hero to blue plus one. Okay. Awesome. Defeat. Okay, souls and campaign. Spend energy. That's an easy quest. Oh, we got a week to do this? Holy heck, this is a long quest. Okay, fire swords, cane sills, needle, dragon heart fragments. Wow, we can do a lot of these here. Summer festival. All right, well, let's finish this chapter. Oh, you know what? We forgot to do all these. That's right, we forgot to do these. That's why it's come here. Campaign treasure. So let's do these. Ooh, 10 Phobos plus 15k gold. Fire swords, crush, skull crusher fragments, and lost ring. 10 Kira souls, 30,000 gold. Quiras, two cursed daggers, two gone guard fragments. Three stored swords, Franks, two more Dawn Guard Franks, two more Quiras. Nice. Open a story event. Where's Mojo? Complete the mini game to earn a reward. The wicked orc girl Bulger has been defeated, and his camp looks deserted. That means it's high time we examined every nook and cranny here. You don't have to ask me twice. Okay. Let's see. Kind of what I thought. Boom. All right, that was easy. I don't even know if we had to. I don't even know if we had to douse the lava. Maybe we did to get that key out of the way. But uh, we got a midnight crystal, which Aurora needs. We got gold, fire sword, cursed dagger, wyvern's heart fragments. All right, so let's do some upgrades, and we'll go back. We got some mojo souls. Mission completed. Mojo, you're alive. The spirits told me you'd come for me. Mojo knew and awaited. Darkness was bad. Sun makes Mojo happy. Car broke car. Zark broke car. 
We got Mojo. Look at that. Nice. Cool. Oh. I don't know. Is he better than Phobos? Honestly, Phobos is probably better. Par Paralysis is pretty good. Good. So we'll keep we'll keep it like this. Paralysis is pretty good. So I think we'll stick with what we got here. Wyvern's Heart. Skull Crusher. So we'll let's stick with it. Oh, we got a quest here too. Got Mel. Oh, we should check these out. Contains big EXP potion, tight potion, an artifact key, and other valuable resources. Okay, we got gold and needle fragments. Fun. Alright, so let's go back to the campaign here. Edge of Dusk, you're approaching the territory of the of cold and despair. There's nobody alive, but nobody dead either. Sacred Rosary, Light Crystal, and Censors. Aurora's like mitigating so well right now. More than powerful enough for this campaign. Like I could probably almost solo these missions with her in the campaign. As high as her dodges. Probably just her and Thea or her and Celeste would probably be all I needed. It would take longer but we could probably do it. Just because of the absurd amount of AD damage she does. Just like that. Like... Now, there definitely wasn't a quest to get Mojo at that point in the game when I played. That, that was a bonus for here. Ooh, Sacred Rosary, Speed Potion, Light Crystal, and Censor. Serenity Stone, Tracker's Boots. Surrounding Highway, the road to Graven Hall holds many daggers. Will the detour help to avoid them? Trial by darkness, many gains of highwaymen block the path to the main destination, but defending them, defeat, defeating them will be easy. We got a enchanted loot fragment, guardian shield, and quiver. Six energy here. Oh, our energy's not in the red anymore.
Okay. Chanted loot. Nice. Oh, needle fragment and ginger soul. Burnt canyon. You should cross this part of the way as soon as possible. To avoid the stony traps of the mountain ravine. Look, bunch of plus homuncule. Got ginger, chop, arachne, judge, and homuncule. Team's over 20k power, though. <laughs> a stun, yo. Like I said, her skills are like totally undeveloped and it doesn't matter. The Rach Rachne stuns have no level requirements, so they work. The level one skills are sufficient. It's another reason Arachne is just such a great hero early on. She's just honestly just a good hero all around. Always been one of my faves. Ever since I first played, like, when I first played the game first time, like, she was like... I actually used her as my initial tank when I was, like, super low level when I first started out. Before I moved to Aurora, she was my main tank. And that worked until I got to, like, level 50-ish. I'm like, oh, this doesn't work anymore. Need a real tank. Ashes and coal, be careful when breathing the local air. The power of hatred that fills it is more dangerous than smoke. Got splitter fragments. And messenger of death, lich, bone ballista... You know the drill. All your undeads. <laughs> Watching Aurora dodge like almost every hit's fun. That was a waste of Aurora's ult. Would have been better to use it here, but oh well. Starting to get kind of tough out there. Look at that, they're starting to take a bunch of damage here. Look at that, 30,000 damage though. Splitter fragments, nice. At world's end, it seems that hell itself has opened its gates into this land. How many monsters will it spawn? Ginger Thea, Galahad, Homuncle, and Lich. Ooh, portal gem fragments. Lost Ring and Traveler's Shoes. I'll save a result for the next one. Alright, there we go. We've got a bunch of ults that will just drop here.
Nice. Portal gem fragment, traveler shoes, lost dream. Thousand and fifty four gold. Bottomless chasm. If you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss gazes back into you. Go forth with courage and don't let the evil consume you. Uh, stone hammer fragment, Quirass, travel stuff, 600. Starting to get to the blue fragment items. Guys, <laughs> I think if the hit's over 20% of an enemy's life, it stuns them. I think it's 20%. I could be wrong on the exact number, but uh, it is always fun to see. Don't really see it in high-end PvP too much anymore, especially with Sebastian putting on nodes which protect against stuns. Necropolis, a place of silence and sorrow, turned into a city of furious souls who couldn't find peace. Cura, sacred rosary fragments, 12 energy. This chair is squeaky, I'm sorry guys. Oh yeah. Rora needs her final ability so she can actually mitigate magic. She's taken a lot of- all that damage is pretty fresh from the mad- the messengers of death or the liches and stuff who do the magic attacks. That's where all the damage she's taken is coming from. See, she took 15,000 damage. So we got two healers, we're fine. She does a lot of damage though. Granted of silence throughout the ages, the number of loyal servants remains the same. Their trapped souls will never tire of serving their master. Apprentice Half Fragment, Cain Seal, Apprentice Mantle. All the same stuff we've been fighting. So I think the music just has a long, like, pause of silence at the end, and then it. I think it just. a long period of silence, I think that's what it is. That or truly is broken. I 
And a Fuff Assault is actually really good. So that he was able to pretty much one-shot the Bone Bless his ult. Did all the damage, enough damage over its multiple hits to kill it, so it's pretty good. Death Shroud, tread as quietly as you can, otherwise you might wake the locals from their eternal sleep. Scorching Quiver Fragment, Reapers, and Still Pauldrons. Yep, see, the music just restarted, so I think there's just a period of silence on the track. Scorching Quiver. Ooh, Celeste gained a level. Nice. Not like I don't have enough EXP potions for it, but it is cool to get some EXP in the campaign. Um, in the afterlife, Morana's song echoes around Necropo Necropolis, uh, drawing Forsaken Souls to the last battle. So Ginger, Arachne, Phobos, Daredevil, Fox, Sacrificial Dragger, Fragments, Band of Enlightenment, and Ducky Dice. Cost 6 energy. Oh, how do I run speed up? I meant to turn it off. Gotta do it for the video, right? All right, boom. Nice. We're at the pro approaching the end of this chapter. So, atrium. An icy chill runs down your spine when you enter the atrium. Fill a loony mean danger clenches your heart. Same undead. It's got a hand of Midas fragment, cursed dagger, six energy.
All right. <laughs> Boom. Ah, Phobos Tia gain levels. Nice. And a Midas uh, recipe. Alright, and then we got Grave Hall Estate. Grave Hall Estate, the masters of the dead lands, won't tolerate the living in their halls. The deadly reaping has begun. So we got Artemis, Kai, Thea, Messenger of Death, Homuncle, Gethiasol. Serenity Stones plus takes 12 energy. So we're about burned through our energy here. That's a good. We're about to finish this chapter, so. <laughs> Rory's gonna smack the next team with an A. <laughs> that ends chapter four. Another CSL. Rora gained a level. Nice. So let's go do these scenes. Ten Heidi Souls, twenty thousand gold, and some loots. Ten ginger shells, forty thousand gold. Some more loot, too. Some scorching quiver fragments. Those are nice. And then we got a justified risk. A mini game is available. Complete the mini game to earn a reward. All right. Ten cure souls with six thousand gold. So, what brings you here, Mojo? Mission: Mojo, the shaman, must destroy poison. Nasty orcs spread poison. Nature is dying. So that's how the Dreadlands got their name. I can see cisterns filled with black poison. Dibs on destroying them. All right, we got to move the pins to heal Galahad. Hmm. All right, so let's do that. There we go. All right, then we got Kira Souls. Kane's running with some enchanted loot, so we have enough for Aurora to do the theme. Nice. Come now, Galahad. You made me worry. That's so sweet of you, my darling. So are they, like, shipping them in this game? Ah, my ears. Even mead flows less sweetly than your speeches. <laughs> We need to go. Take care of what lies before us. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, that concludes chapter four. Um, we got another quest here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we got some special events of these deadly harvests. All the missions. We've completed all of them. Get a lot of these boxes. Ooh, spend energy boxes. We have a week to do this quest, so that's like... Oh. I'm like, oh, that's because it's on the bottom. <sighs> Messes me up there. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. We're still on my first day of this playthrough. We're on day one of this playthrough. 
Feels like it's been longer, but no, this is just day one. Voodoo doll recipe. Reaper fragment. Midnight crystal. 100,000 gold. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just need five of each of those. Energy. Gold. Nice. Oh, we can summon them. Heidi would actually be pretty good. Do that. We do have an energy potion. Let's farm that up. Where do we get those? Oh, that's a new, that's a new mission. We'll do that in the next video. Oh, level 35. So when I first started playing, level 35 is when you unlocked Titan Valley. And, well, you don't anymore. They moved it to, like, level 60-something. I have no idea why. It never made sense to me, but... I can't do Titan Valley yet, because this would be normally when I'd be trying to grab a totem, but, uh... We got 130 energy. That's cool. Alright, so, boom. Let's Phobos go up a uh, rank here. Let's see. Ooh, a sacred rosary. Let's use it since we have it. Gotta use this stuff since we got it, man. Ooh. Nice. Oh, we can get that stuff. Oh, we got a mail message. Hero promote rewards. Oh, nice. More skin stones. More emeralds. Nice, honey. We can do another one of these. Runes. Got lots of those. Well, let's see. 360 skull stones. Ha, da, da. Yeah, no, not enough to do that. Uh, what the? Well. What else can we do in this chapter? Oh, we can buy an energy potion, which we will. Probably the last one though, because uh, now we're out of, and I don't really want to spend that kind of money on energy. Nice. I hope we have to be level 36. I don't think we can go to 36, can we? We have to get more team XP. Well then, I guess we're going to be calling this episode uh, done because we can't really do anything else right now. Um, so we'll just uh, take a break. And uh, so if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments and uh, come join me on the next one. Thanks for watching.